Happy Pi Day. Today I have sheets and you're going to create a cityscape with the first 26 digits of Pi. We've opened the Pi Skyline Cityscape sheet. If you'll notice here on the first tab are all the directions for how to create your own. Choose sunset, blue sky, nighttime, or create your own. In order to do that, just click on the tab. Once you've clicked on the tab, you'll see that you have the first 26 digits of pi. Here, the first digit is three. So I'm gonna select the sail, drag, and then I'm gonna select the fill function. Select the cell and fill. And you can change it in different colors, however you want, be creative. Then to insert an image, you'll go to insert, image, insert image over cells. You may upload your own images or you can use Google image search. Select the image that you want to insert over your cells. Click on it, click insert. And then you'll notice that it came up down here. Simply select the, select the image, resize it and drag it into your sky. If you want to use the same image, control C will copy the image and control V will paste. I hope you enjoy making your cityscape. Happy Pi Day! Now you and your students might know that Pi is 3.14 and a bunch of other numbers, but do you think you and your students can prove Pi is 3.14? Let's take a look at this googly activity that you can share with your students to find out. Let's get started with proving Pi. First, you have a document that talks about what Pi is to help teach your students. If you need more, there's options to read more about Pi or watch a video. Next, you will move down to the directions for this activity. Your class challenge is to prove Pi by following these steps. You will first measure objects that are perfect circles from around the classroom using a piece of string, stretching it out against a ruler to find the measurement of the circumference. Then students can measure the diameter of the same object using the ruler, then solve for Pi. Last, students will insert their data of the items they measured, share if they did prove for Pi. This can be a shared document with the entire class. That way, everybody can see what the findings were. If you need to share this activity with your class and you're not sure how, go up to the top right corner, click on the share button. Before you assign this to your class, make sure that down here in the share options, you click that you are sharing and students are allowed to be editors. After you have this marked as editor, copy that link and assign it to your students in your Google Classroom or share it with them through chat or any other method that you share activities with your class. Now everybody has access and can put their data on the exact same document for a shared Google Doc. I'm Tina and my Pi Day activity is an interactive Ed Puzzle read aloud. I've added the pages of the book to Google Slides, and then I used the Screencastify extension to record myself reading the book. Then I went to Edpuzzle and was able to make the book interactive with different questions throughout the video. I've included a link to the Edpuzzle activity as well as a YouTube video for your use. Hi, you've probably figured out by now that Pi Day is all about circles. Let's go into some drawing programs and draw with circles. Pi Day is all about circles. Let's go into pages right here or any other drawing app. Start with a new document here on the plus and a blank landscape. It's the one I like best. I feel like I get the most space. Once you're in here, we're going to go back to the plus right there and shapes are right here. Let's just use circles and see what we can create with circles. I'm going to try and make a face. So there's that. I can hit the paintbrush right here. And I'm going to change, choose a color. So I'm going to do a blue face. 
I could also use fill right here. Back here to the plus, circle, plus, circle. Make some, shrink these down a little bit, make some eyes. You gotta touch each one. Plus, circle, let's make a big one. Paintbrush red. Let's actually paintbrush these to white. Paintbrush white. And we'll do two more real fast. Circle, small and black. Plus, circle, small and black. There we go, there's some surprise, a surprise face. Now see what else you can create using just circles. Can you make a bicycle or a car or a house using only circles as shapes? Also try seeing if you can go to Google, drawings.google.com or Canva or something like that and create other pictures using only circles in those programs. Hi, I'm Kristen Garlitz and my Pi Day activity is for students to use graphing of pie and pizza using Seesaw. These next two activities use Seesaw and are intended for kindergarten through second graders. If you go to the Seesaw Activity Library for school and district, you can search for my activities there. There's one called pie graphing and one called pizza pie graphing. On the pie graphing activity, students will be asked to interview other students, families, or friends about what their favorite pie is. Then they can color in the boxes to create a bar graph on the chart here, and then answer questions about the pies that are favorite. On the pizza activity one, they will count the toppings on the pizza and then write the number of toppings in the boxes and then create a bar graph of how many toppings there are. Then there are a few questions at the bottom that they can answer about the pizza. We've also curated a wakelet, so don't forget to check it out.